It has been more than two months since Ricky Melendez was involved in this deadly crash. Four teens in a stolen SUV crashed into him while he was driving to work. Melendez has not been able to walk since. Tenders reporter Shannon Valladolid found out while this wasn't Ricky's fault, his insurance company is paying money to the families of those four teens. I haven't not thought about that accident one day since August 6th. Um, I'm pretty sure I won't ever not think about it. Um, you know, that was, you know, one of the worst yet luckiest days of my life. I mean, I could, I could have easily been one of those, like one of those kids. For Ricky Melendez, it's been one fight after another since this deadly crash left him in a wheelchair. But the pain just got worse. Ricky received this letter from his insurance company, Geico, this week, saying they would be paying $20,000 to the families of those four teens. It was almost like opening a, a raw a wound, as, as you would say, like, just, you know, it, it, it didn't feel good. I'll say that, knowing that they were going to get money. Ricky was paid $10,000 in personal injury protection insurance, or PIP, but has already exhausted that money. He's reached $50,000 in medical bills. Hi, Diana. This is Shannon via the lead with Channel 10 News. We called Geico for answers, but was told I would need to have Ricky's approval. However, his lawyer, Mark Roman, told me he can't even get a statement as to why this money was paid out. I've been trying to find out the answer to that question from the first minute I found out about this horror story, and nobody's told me anything. Roman claims Geico paid the family's bodily injury liability coverage which means Ricky would have been legally responsible for the car accident. But Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Galtieri made it clear that this crash was caused by the teens after they stole the SUV. I've never seen an insurance company pay uh, essentially the at-fault parties in a case like this. I've, I've never even heard of it. Jeff Denight of Bentley Denied Insurance says cases of grand theft auto and car break-ins are affecting us here in Pinellas County big time. But we all pick up a our fair share of the burden of the price increases. Denied says since 2016, auto insurance rates in Pinellas County on average have increased by 14%. He says auto thefts and auto break-ins are a big reason why, but he also attributes other things to that increase, such as accident fraud, distracted driving, and even assignment of benefits, specifically windshield claim frauds, as a reason you're paying more. Now, Shannon Viadoli joins me now with this, and Shannon, you tried to get an answer from Geico. I tried. Melendez tried. His attorney tried, but Geico is still not talking, but I'm going to be staying on top of this insurance company to try and get an answer. And what are other attorneys saying about So I spoke this? to other attorneys, and they say that this might this happens more than you think. Mm -hmm. So insurance companies make the payouts to avoid court costs. So here's why. If it's discovered later that Melendez was even slightly at fault, the families could sue for wrongful death. All right, we'll wait, and hopefully here you'll hear if something from yes. Geico.